Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another plan with me for the week of August 14th through the 20th, 2023. This is like my third or fourth time starting this video. Um, so I'm just going to keep going whether I mess up or not. So this week I am using, as you just seen, some Barbie stickers that I got from Dollar General. They were a dollar and three sheets came and it was the same, uh, same exact design on each sheet but i guess i i guess i can say i kind of jumped on the barbie bandwagon with the movie and all of that and they had them there and i thought it was super cute so i thought why not and trying to just incorporate pink within this week as well so i'm um, right here you'll see me creating that same dashboard like i did last week for the first time so I'll be going like back and forth as you'll see looking and just checking to make sure I'm including the same things that I did in the previous week. And because I have random letters that I haven't used, I try my best to utilize them and you'll see I'm stamping out the two E's in week just because I had no more E's and I didn't want to use all the ones from the new pack. So I felt like this wasn't bad. I only stamped two, um, the E's two times, so it wasn't that bad. And just adding on the extra K in there, I really don't like wasting anything. And I don't want to throw anything away, so the best way I can use it, I'm going to try to do so. And this week, you'll see I same a bit all over the place because while I know I wanted to use the Barbie sticker sheet I wasn't sure of how I want to place or do anything if you watched my last video then you know that I was kind of debating back and forth with doing a day on a page or doing two days on a page as I was doing this it kind of made me think about maybe I should try to do a horizontal layout for next week just for the fun of it I don't tend to like horizontal but you know, who knows? I'll see how it goes. But I think it's just something new to try. But I can also put two on the day the vertical way as well. So along with me just thinking about like what exactly I want to do for future videos, which has came up quite a bit of times um, for me. We're just thinking about like what new videos that I can add to the weekly ones that I do. I I've always wanted to do like, um, what's that video called that some people do? Like a day in the life of my planner. But I just don't think mine would be that interesting. So as I was thinking, I wanted to try different layouts for myself. So I thought like, why not try different layouts on the video as well? So while I do do weekly planning, I want to try to switch it up and also incorporate maybe another planner, but just trying to play around with um, how I want to do layouts and using different ways of that. So be on the lookout for that. Definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss out. And yeah, we can all kind of do this together. I think the best part about the planner community is everyone is so nice and you get a chance to see a lot of ideas and I also feel like it's a way to play around with a lot of ideas that you may have or just wanted to try and you get a chance to do it in a community that's really supportive so I like that um this week I have quite a bit of things going on but I'm going to try to utilize the spacing more and the day on the page spread the day on the page the day on the page spreads so that I could get the most out of um my full page. So whether it's that maybe taking a snapshot picture here and there, which is what I actually did during the weekend. I printed out some pictures that I had taken over the week. And sometimes I take pictures of like nature. Sometimes I take pictures of um, food or different things like that and I just decided to add it in this habit tracker I want to get back into utilizing and I know that when I talked before about my last video I was when I decided to go back into the spiral notebook I said that I was going to keep 
the wellness log with Erin Condren because I felt like everything was in one spot and it was working. I still feel that way. I love the layout that comes in there. However, I don't like having to use two books. I think I got so spoiled and used to putting everything in one book and it was actually working for me until going into another book to log that is making me inconsistent with it and when I do like the catch up it's irritating me so that's something that I think moving into um the week after this one I will probably include um my meals and movement within this notebook I just like having everything together Now, whether or not I utilize that all on a day on a page and in versus two section in and out like I did in previous viral notebooks, I have like that one section for food, another section for movement. Um, I'm not sure if that's how I want to do it or if I want to use the whole page and just add movement and my meals on there. I haven't figured that part out yet, but I know I do prefer it to be all in one book now what you see me putting down now is a printout that i've had like so long i got that off of carpet dm website i believe and i've had it literally for so long and i just haven't used it so i'm gonna kind of leave that space open for like one of the highlights of the week and just put that picture there i'm glad that i remembered to use the washi tape because I do have quite a bit of washi tape considering I don't use it often so I definitely want to start getting into using all of my products and just just really playing around with things and I think that's what made me a little bit more open to doing different spreads maybe in a different planner um, I will say I will have an upcoming video with me playing around in a composition notebook one thing I find myself doing, and let me all let me know if you all do the same thing. Planning and decorating and making things on my own in terms of like a planner and making it fit exactly what I need is relaxing and distracting for me. And it's actually a coping mechanism. And the other night I was up really late I couldn't go to sleep a lot of things were just going through my mind and I grabbed a composition notebook one that I had got from uh, Walmart last week for 50 cents each and I decided to just use it and at first I was thinking like why mess around with that but I figured I can play around in it try some different layouts include some different things that I want um, include some notes other things that might be important for me but I just wanted to use it I just wanted to use the notebook as like an all-around kind of thing because I've always wanted to see how well it would work if I had a full composition notebook Um, I know I cut down one before to like a traveler size notebook size and that was okay but I wanted to see how well like a full one would do So I did some decorating in it last night because I was just going through some things and it was getting my mind off a lot of the thoughts that I was having and just the many things that I think about. So I thought it was helpful for me and I'm going to share some of the things that I plan on doing within it as well. Um, So stay tuned for that. I just have like a lot of sometimes I'm sparked with a lot of ideas and sometimes I have none at all but as far as this past week has gone I don't know about you all if you all do have any kids then maybe you will understand where I'm at it seems like school started out of the blue Uh, my kids don't go to school until this upcoming week midweek but it just seems so much quicker than it did last year and probably because I've been working so much until I wasn't as prepared So now I am moving really fast, a lot of things on my plate, trying to cross off a lot of important things that I need to do 
while still maintaining or trying to maintain somewhat of a flow of something. So let me know anything you all have been using to help ease that tension, but I am in like overdrive trying to think. That's why this past week I didn't pick up any hours and this coming week I'm not picking up any hours because I need to try and catch up and just get back on track. So that is something I'm doing. I hope anybody that has children on here has a awesome start to the year. I hope the first day goes good. My kids will be back on the bus. I haven't done busing with them for like the last three years. And it's something that I was a little uneasy about, but it's going to be so much helpful, so helpful to me because for the past years, I've been taking them to school, um, aside from when it was homeschooled during COVID. Um, but last year was just so, so hard with me taking them and picking them up and half a days and no school. And it was just a lot. Uh, weather-wise and everything. So I'm going to be happy to do that. And I feel like it's a step in the right direction for them as well to like grow up and do some things on their own without, you know, the comfort of me taking them to school and them feeling as if we can spend so much time on one thing. So I think it's going to help us all in our overall schedule. So I'm just excited for this year and what it's going to bring for not only myself, but also my children. I do have goals for them that I'm a lot more focused on than I have been in previous years. It's just going to take consistency along with the focus. So I'm still excited and I hope you all have an awesome start to your week. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.